friends. How are you this afternoon? Lois with Ellie Grace's Attic and I'm here with the Lunchtime Live. We're going to do some crafting today. Uh, I have this little craft that's been actually on my art table for a while now. I just haven't been able to get to it. It's sort of a springy craft, um, but we're going to, um, I've actually just found this piece, uh, this home cutout at my local Dollar Tree a few weeks ago and I've been meaning to do something with it and I had an idea and I've had it laid out and like I said I just haven't got to it so uh, I'm excited to share it with you today we'll see how it turns out you know I get an idea in my head and uh, I never know <laughs> so we'll see I'm hoping it's cute because I really want to put it in my dining room when I get it all finished um, for those of you who don't know me my name is Lois East I own an online creative company called Ellie Grace's Attic and we take old treasures and give them new life with handcrafted love we do wooden signs we do all kind of crafty stuff but you know you never know what you might see on here live or on video I love to share all my tips and tricks for just everyday life and you're even going to get a little bit of Jesus um, so I want to get started on this craft for you guys thank you for being here if you are watching live, let us know in the comments where you're watching from. We would love uh, to say hi. Wave at me in the comments. Um, and thank you for being here. If you're watching it on the replay, same thing. Just type replay where you're watching from, what you're up to. I love getting to interact with you guys. So, so fun. Um, all right, so like I said, this is just a wood plaque. It says home. I got it at the Dollar Tree. For I think a dollar. I know Dollar Tree's kind of going, going up. Uh, some items are now a dollar twenty-five. So we're gonna get this out. I already had this piece of wood in my shop. It was just an extra. Um, it was already stained brown, so I just painted it. Um, I dry brushed it white. And then I came back over the white with a dry brush of gray. And all that means, dry brush, is um, taking your paintbrush, whatever paintbrush you use. I barely tipped it in the paint. And then I just brushed until the brush went dry. Brushed it on, same thing, barely tipped, brushed till it went dry. That's called dry brushing. And it kind of just, it doesn't give you full coverage. You'll see it leaves some spots where you can see the white underneath and even the original brown that it was stained. So it just kind of really gives it a neat, distressed, weathered look. So what I'm going to do now is my goal, let me put it the right way, is to do this, center this down like that and make a home sign. But this little cutout needs to be, I want to paint it white. That's going to be our first thing. But also, for some reason, I don't know if you can see, it's got some little, like, little um, divots coming out of it. I don't know why. So I've got my little pliers, and they have a little blade there in the middle. So I'm going to try to just nip this off. This wood is really thin from this little thing, so it should just kind of come right off. I probably could have even done this with scissors. Um, we're just going to snip that right off. If you're enjoying watching this live or any crafting lives that we do, any lives that we do, go ahead and go up to those three dots in the upper right hand corner and um, click live notifications. And it'll tell you any time that we are going live, so you can hop on with us. We'd also love it if you would go check us out and we're on the YouTube, Pinterest, TikTok, my favorite. Um, where else are we at? We're on Instagram. We're all over the place. So go check us out. Give us a follow when you're over there. All right, now I don't really like this inside of the O, so I'm going to try to snip that out as well before I actually start painting. This is probably not going to 
This worked a lot better in my head. I think I'm just actually gonna twist it. See, it, it's very fragile. So we're gonna get that out and then we're gonna try to snip these little edges. Just because I didn't really like the look. This is not gonna come off as easily. I mean, it's coming off, but I think I'm just gonna have to kind of pop it out and then sand that little hump down to kind of get the effect I was looking for. Cause I can't get my pliers in there just exactly. I got a little sanding block. So I'm just gonna kind of go in there, try to smooth that out just a little bit. I have something that's gonna go over this, so it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. I just wanna get the bulk of it out. Don't be afraid when you see stuff at the store. It doesn't always have to stay the way you find it. Like I see these things and like I'm, I immediately knew I wanted this. Anytime you find wood cutouts, they're like one of my favorite things because half the work is already done for you. This is already super cute. All you have to do is add just a little bit to it to make it fit in your own decor and um, dress it up. Everybody needs a new dress when they come to the party, right? We are gonna be crafting, crafting this week. This is our craft and chow week. I'm super excited about that. Um, if you don't know what that is, let me tell you. It's our monthly craft subscription group. We have so much fun in there. If you subscribe, you get a box. It's $40 a month and you get a box of craft supplies delivered to your door. Every month we do something different and uh, yeah, you get your craft supplies, you get some instructions uh, on how to do the craft. I have white acrylic paint and a sponge brush. I'm just gonna lightly brush this on. Um, you get the instructions how to complete the craft. You get um, a recipe, that's the child part. It's something to snack on. So you'll get that recipe. It's all, they come from my family's journal, so they have been tried and true these recipes i'm not just sending you some random recipe that i haven't tried um, you get access to our private facebook group you get a discount in our etsy shop lifetime discount for the lifetime of your membership you get um just tons of stuff um so much fun we do a live zoom every month where we craft together, or you could do it on your own. But this month, we're doing the cutest little spring carrot. I'm so excited about it. We're doing that. Our craft night is actually tomorrow night. It's usually the third or fourth Thursday, which is announced. Um, so yes, tomorrow night, I'll get to do that little carrot. It's so cute. Can y'all see that behind me? There it is. Look how cute that is. This is the kind of stuff we do in Craft and Chow. How precious is this little carrot? I can't wait. It's gonna look so cute in this, my spring decor. Um, next month, if you guys wanna get in, all you have to do is shoot me a message or put a note in the comments that you're interested in Craft and Chow, and I'll see that and I'll send you some info on how to sign up. Um, we'll get you signed in. The bill get invoiced the first of every month and the boxes go out um, by the fifth. So yeah, so much fun. Next month, we're gonna try our hand. I try to get new stuff, cause I could paint all day, but I try to broaden our horizons, right? And we try to learn something uh, different. So this month, we are going to, well this month we're doing the spring carrot. Next month, we are gonna try our hand at macrame. How cool is that? 
I grew up, my mom had those macrame plant hangers and that's what we're gonna make, a plant hanger. I'm so excited, so excited. So I'm channeling my mom and we're gonna make a macrame plant hanger. And I am just, I might have to buy a cactus or a succulent because I tell you what, I'm making a plant hanger, but your girl can't grow plants. I can raise babies. I'm a pretty good cook and I can create some crafty stuff, right? I can do some crafts, but your girl can kill plants. It's terrible. I love them. I love flowers. I love plants. I love the idea of plants in my home. I kill them every time. It's terrible. Terrible. In fact, I was just telling my husband the other day as we came home from church and the dead fern from last year is still on my front porch. And I said, well, babe, I guess it's time for me to go to Lowe's and get a new fern and throw out that dead one. Oh, I have to apologize to the plants every year when I buy them. Like, I'm sorry. I love you as long as you can hang in there. <laughs> Bless it. But anyway, I am excited about macrame plant hangers in craft and child next month if you want to be a part of that pop me a message down there you can direct message me you can email me at ellagrace's attic at gmail or just post in the comments i'm interested in craft and chow and i'll send you some info all right so what i did let me stick this in water so it doesn't get crusty oh i knocked something over um, all I did was just put basic white on there. So now it's still a little damp, but that's okay. I'm going to take my gray base that I had and I want to hot glue this on there. So I got my hot glue gun hot and I am just going to put some glue kind of just around the corners, the bottom. Trying to be quick so it doesn't dry. I'm just putting some lines of glue down. Oops. Of course, I need another stick. Bless it. Do I have one? Ah, I don't have one. I usually keep some handy right there. All right, I think I got enough glue on it that it's going to stick. Let's get this down. We're going to kind of eyeball it. I'm trying to get it straight. I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing. All right. All right, so now we have this, which is cute like that, but we're gonna dress it up just a little bit. I gotta grab another glue stick from behind me. All right, so I have some greenery. I've had this greenery, gosh, it came in a big, like, bunch. I got it at Hobby Lobby when the greenery was 50% off. Greenery can be expensive, but if you watch, Hobby Lobby alternates their sales 50% off in the department. So, if you go in there this week and the greenery's not on sale this week, chances are, Next week, it'll be either 40 or 50% off, so just check back. Um, so it's wide, it's a wire, so you can bend it to whatever shape you want. So I've already just got a, kind of got it circled. You probably know where I'm going with this. So I'm going to get it back around. I'm just going to take the end, and I'm just going to kind of gently wrap it around just enough where it's not going to move. And so I've got an O which is where I'm headed for this. I want to cover up my O with the greenery. So I am just going to put 
put um, I'm just outlining the O with some hot glue just a thin little line okay and I'm gonna just get that around my O and I'm gonna press down oh I got a wispy right in the middle Press down and I'm gonna kind of cute fill up my leaves a little bit. Alright, and friends, this is it. This is all I'm doing to this. How cute is that? So this whole thing, I would say maybe it cost me three dollars. I bought I already had the base wood that I painted gray. Well, it was it was already stained. It was left over from another project. I painted it white, then dry brushed it white, then dry brushed gray on top of that after it dried. And then I got that cool, like weathered look from that. And then this wood cutout I got at Dollar Tree for a dollar, maybe a dollar twenty-five since they changed their prices. But still, it was inexpensive. And I cut out the little center of the O. It had some little nubbies on the side that I cut, painted it white, and added this greenery. So maybe $3 if you factor in the greenery. That's pretty good for this cute little piece. So I hope you enjoyed this craft. I hope it inspires you to do something crafty for your home. Home decor does not have to be expensive. Just a little imagination and a few dollars, and you can make something cute for your home as well. So I love you guys. Uh, I'll be back with some more spring crafts here real soon. And I hope you enjoy your spring weather. I hope it's warm where you're at. It's just deciding to get warm here and it's really nice. It's supposed to rain today, but tomorrow and next week it's supposed to be really nice. So get outside if you can and enjoy the sunshine and have a blessed day. Come on.